We're going to talk about something new and completely different today. It may not even be a crystal, although there are claims that it is a crystal or crystal-like substance, and that is, and have you ever heard of, Andara crystals? No, I have not. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly, to be <laughs> honest. It could be Andara or something like that, and hopefully someone will correct us. But I'm going to call them Andara crystals for this uh, video and this demo. And what happened was, Esther in Australia contacted me via Facebook and she asked me what I thought of them and I said I don't think anything because I don't know what they are and I've not actually heard of them and she said well I can't make up my mind and we sort of had a little bit of a back and forth conversation and she said you know what I'm going to send you one of mine so while I was in Tucson it arrived and what is it it's this so let's show it to both you and the camera that's the Andara crystal And it is glass-like to me. And again there, like that. It feels like glass. I'm kind of scared it's going to cut me like glass. Yeah. It's got a little edginess there. Um, there, you feel it. Tell me what you think. It is. It's edgy, uh, uh, for sure. It's, I find it very attractive. What do you mm -hmm. think? How does it look to you? Yes, I love that design. There right is there. something there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's just nice. It is attractive, but and smooth right there is. Yeah, nice. it is nice. It is, and there are there are stones that are you know reminiscent of glass. You know, even zincite is reminiscent of glass. But zincite is a crystal. Mm -hmm. It's just made at a very high temperature. Now you know. So after I read about this, I, I went and looked it up and. The, the composition of glass and the compo composition of quartz, silicon dioxide, it's a 75% overlap. Wow. The chemical composition, but not the structure, you see. That's different. Mm -hmm. So there are going to be a lot of similarities between glass and um, crystal, and I have often worked with sand glass, the glass you pick up on the beach, yeah. you know, especially the green ones. Those mm -hmm. were rather nice when we were doing the anti-inflammatory. But, but, but then when I saw this, it was very reminiscent of a stone that I'd bought in Tucson that was also a new stone, and it was these. Look at that. Look at the comparison. And you know what's inside here is orange calcite. We're not sure what the coating is. We think the coating is... Um, it's marble-like. You know, we asked the dealers. They didn't know. It has to be analyzed in a lab. And but what do they call these? They didn't call them anything. I'm calling them orange calcite with marble. Because they, I said, is it marble? And they said, yes. So, you know, I'm just pretending. But, but isn't this amazing? Now, I'll tell you something even more amazing about it. If somebody asked me, can you uh, get PTSD from a past life? And I said, I don't know. And when I worked on her to pull up the imprint from her energy body, it had this zigzag pattern to it. And I thought, that's reminiscent of something. And then I remembered, oh, it's like the Andara glass and the new calcite hearts and spheres that have got the coating on them. And it pretty much the imprint looked like that and like that. But I thought that was rather interesting that this one had this pattern in and so does this new stone it's very wow. similar that's fascinating but they feel completely different and that is the that's the key is can this do what a crystal does is the only question that i can have in my mind it doesn't feel like a crystal to me it doesn't no. give me the crystal warmth and satisfaction and light. fullness mm -hmm. yeah it doesn't have that the body uh, the, the that substantial feeling but the, but so that's what it, it looks like this. But what it's closest to, of course, is obsidian glass. And so we have these. And Neil, if you could just get, bring me the green obsidian sphere that's in the box over there. So I've got the, you know, look at that. So that's green obsidian sphere. That's obviously been manufactured out of green obsidian glass. That's polished obsidian. If you feel that compared to that, see what you get. Oh, wow, that is so light. 
Is that is not what I was expecting it. Yeah, they do kind of. There's a kind of a, a similarity, yeah. right? And so then as a functional thing, because these are polished and finished in that way, that changes their energy. But this is not. This is the natural obsidian glass, and it has active points, same as that has active points. So compare this and that. See what you think. So this is polished, and this is not. Yeah, I just feel like the polished side. So this is obsidian glass, too. Side. So it reminded me of that. So what we'll do is a comparison of using this and using this using this and using this because they look similar and this is obsidian glass too and it's got this point and this has got this point but we've got that there so we don't need to investigate that but this reminds me of this tool with the mica so what I'm going to do Linda I'm going to, we're going to set you up on the table and I'm going to ask you to see which ones you can feel, and you won't know which ones we're working with. Okay. And we'll get some feedback that way. We'll just explore and experiment. Okay? Fun. Yes. Okay. We're on it. All right. We're going to explore this material. This is an Andara crystal. It feels like glass. It uh, is a form of glass, and I make no claim about it. We're going to explore this. Linda, you're going to keep your eyes closed, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to say when you can and can't feel something. And I'm going to begin by comparing the action of this edge with the action of this edge here. So these two edges, a comparison, and we'll see what Linda says, as well as what I get to say from what I can feel from my end. All right, so Linda doesn't know which one I'm beginning with. And I'm going to begin with this one. I'm going to turn it around. It's got a nice handhold. There's a spot for my thumb and a spot for my forefinger. And I've got a nice grip on it. I like it. And I'm going to begin by doing what's called special effects gridding in this area. And we'll see if it has any impact. I won't say what I'm feeling, but Linda, if you do or don't feel something... I do feel a, something. You do. Okay. And it's like a stroking. A stroking sensation. And is it pleasant? Yes. Soothing. Good. Soothing. It's heavy. It's heavy. And what do you mean by heavy? Like something settling on you or what? Yeah. It's Interesting. Alright, so you can feel that no. there. Yeah, I lost it so much. So come closer. Kind of gave me a little bit of a jolt. Okay. I can also feel it uh, um, impacting your energy field in a particular way, this particular instrument that I'm using. Alright, so now let's do exactly the same movement with the other utensil or tool that I was going to use. So same thing, same distance. Not so much. Feeling less. Yes. Um. Yeah, I don't have the feeling at all. Um, okay. If anything, I feel like I'm picking up on your energy. Okay. Uh, all right. Interesting. There. That might be a little... So the one worked... Swing. Yeah. What if I come closer? Is that a clearer feeling? Like? Yeah, that, that really just kind of like... Right, because of course... That makes a difference. I feel like it kind of went up to me. So something's happening now. The yeah. energy's moving. Right. It's like okay. 
Good. I'm seeing white and light, white light. Okay, so something's happening now. All right, stay where you are. I'm going to do this now at the knee. So let's bring the camera over to this area. And again, I'm going to use one tool and then the other tool, and we'll see the comparison doing it that way. Might be a, I don't know if you even started, but there might be a light pulsing. Yeah, very I have started. Subtle, yeah. Very subtle. Light pulsing. Right, so I can tell that the sorest part of your knee, from what I just did, is in here. This is where the injury is. So it might be a meniscus tear, but I'm just getting that. All right, okay, so that's the one tool. Now we'll try the other tool. I feel this like one. it's running down my leg. I hadn't begun yet. That's interesting. <laughs> I was just turning it around, but I was inside your energy field, so that's interesting. So I wonder if that action will, with this particular tool, can you feel what I'm anything from what I'm doing now? Um, I feel like it just kind of all went numb, maybe a little bit. Okay, so maybe what you felt was like an after effect from the other tool, because I was just manipulate. I was just trying to find the handhold, but I was in your energy field when I was doing that. Now I lost the handhold again. Got myself confused there. I've got it now. Here we go. Now I'm now I'm actually using the tool. I feel like there's a little bit of a light stroking on my shin. So it's a, a stroking feeling, which I just want to tell you that's exactly the same word you used for the same tool when we were up in the heart chakra area. You used the word stroking. So you've been consistent in experiencing this as a stroking sensation. Yeah, that's interesting. And I can feel quite a bit happening, but not so much on the cross lines. It's more on the up and down lines. Yes. See, on the cross lines I'm not getting so much. So definitely having an effect, but in the specific direction, the north-south direction we can mm -hmm. call it. You see there I get the, a registration of something. Very interesting. Very interesting. Really different. So that's, that's a comparison of these two tools. And now we're going to do a comparison of this tool with, with other material. So this, this one is the Andara crystal. This one is the obsidian glass. So again, we're going to do that comparison. And in between, I'm going to just do something different to wash away the imprint of what we just did. And for that something different, I'm just going to use this material. We can't really do a comparison of this with the Andara glass because it's too different. This is smooth and the Andara glass is not. 
if we got a sphere of the Andara glass, then we would be able to feel it. Yeah, this is the orange calcite with the imprint on it. It's very emotionally stabilizing. Fabulous material. In fact, why aren't I using both that and the sphere? <laughs> and I just wanted to show everybody because I brought this one. This is this is the same, must be from the same pocket. Because there's the orange calcite and there's this coating. You can see it transitioning from the one to the other. It's pretty interesting. It's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I think what we'll do is we'll move where we're doing the test because we've done a test here and a test here. So I think we'll do a test here and then maybe on your foot um, just to see that comparison, okay? I'm starting with one and I'll start here. Now, of course, size can make a difference, and the size of the one and the size of the other look fairly different, but we just have to accept the limitations of our research. It's not defining, it's an exploration. And one can refine more and more and more as one goes along. And, of course, different tools are suited, or different materials are suited to different actions. This might not be the most constructive action with this particular tool, and we can't know. It takes a lot to figure out how to use a tool and its best application. And do you feel anything with that? I feel like there might have been like a pulsing. There could have been something. All right, so it didn't feel too much. All yeah, right. it's subtle. So all right, so now we'll try the other tool. I feel like my whole body's a little jittery. Mm-hmm. So an effect, but not necessarily a pleasant one. Right, right, just like little... It's, it's, it's edgy. Yes. Okay. Giving me twitches. Giving you twitches, but then that could mean because the energy's moving, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But so, it's not just in that area either. Yes, it's an all-over effect. So this could be one of those that you, tools that you want in your pocket or to wear for an all-over effect. Uh, interesting. Yeah, this again. The cross, the cross section doesn't seem to work that well. Okay, so that was at the second chakra. Let's go look at the foot now. Let's swing over here. We'll try this one first. Grid the foot. This is a little more difficult because I was already feeling things in my foot from my knee. Yes. But with this tool that I'm using at the moment, I am getting more and more information as I'm doing this. But the energy is different from what I'm accustomed to. Of course, I've never used any of these tools in this way. This, that, it feels a little more numb than this. feels a little more free. And okay. So it almost, does it in, by any chance, because this is an impression I'm getting, feel like something's weighing on you or pressing on you, which is a term you used earlier. Yes. It's as if something's like a, doing that. Yes, like a pillow's on it. It's just got that kind of That's dynamic. what I think I was getting, the numb feeling. Yeah. 
because it was like a blanket sensation like that. Mm. That's what I was experiencing. All right, that's with the one too. No, it's just, <laughs> it's just that sort of not the most defining of research, but it's a lovely exploration. So this has got an old price tag sticky thing on it there. All right, here we go. Let me start some of the spot there. And of course we know, we know from all our other crystal surgery experience that it's a little bit unfair because you have to be working on something specific that actually exists to be able to feel whether it is uh, working. Like if you're using green fluoride, if it's not going, you're not going to be able to tell unless you have inflammation whether it's doing its job or not. So like this, we're trying to explore, does it have an effect? But what does it have an effect on? You might not have the thing it has an effect on. How's this one going? What are you experiencing now? Feeling a little twitchy again. Twitchy, okay. So, that's then just showing not much difference there. So... <clears throat> The second one makes you twitchy, what I can say, because I reversed the sequence in that time. So, I would say that there's not much difference between the Andara glass and the other tools in terms of the effect, the amount of effect being felt and that we're not exactly sure whether the applications that we're exploring are the correct applications to be exploring. But I would say that it's equally clear that this is either equally useful or equally not useful, but there seems to be an equality. There didn't be, did you notice any big difference between any of the tools and each other, Linda? Well, I was still never sure <laughs> which tools you were using when... Um... Up here, those first two. The first one. So that was the Andara glass. The first one did have a strong north-south effect when we did this. And I felt it too, I will say. And then when we were working on your foot, I also felt the energy of something settling over the foot. That was the, the Andara glass. And that was the Andara okay. glass as well. And what I would love to explore is this in a sphere because then we could do the infusion that would be similar to, say, using this piece of obsidian, mm -hmm. and then we would be able to see, does it give you this effect? But I can't do it with this rough, jagged piece. I'm scared to, you know, I'm scared to do that, and that does not feel good for my hand. So my hand's reacting, and that's dominating, but when I do that, that, of course, it's smooth, so my hand is enjoying the feel. So that's, that's, that's what I would say, that when we infused this, there was definitely some effect. Mm -hmm. What the effect is, I couldn't tell. I, could, I couldn't tell. I could tell that it has a north-south effect, that it doesn't go east-west, that we both could detect. Mm -hmm. So that was interesting. It did seem like it, it will have some effect on energy. I'd love to hear what people have been experiencing and how and what it has an effect on. See, this is my very first encounter with the Andara glass, and it is not a crystal. It's being sold as a crystal-like substance. Remember that glass and crystal and quartz crystal have 75% overlap in their chemistry, and that is why it's it could be crystal-like. And what the actual properties are, we're still investigating, and that is a first-line exploration I've never experienced it before. It's fun. I would love to hear more about it from the viewers. Thank you.